The great pleasure about travel from this place to that are unexpected surprises you find along the way. In the broad-shouldered Willamette Valley, try the splendors of summer from a unique point of view under the covered bridges of Lynn County. And perhaps stop in at Roaring River Fish Hatchery along the way, a place you can learn more, too. Raise their level of knowledge about what happens. A place they can sit down and relax. They can come out and actually enjoy more than just a few minutes walking around the hatchery. They can enjoy an afternoon. Before you head into the Cascade Mountain foothills near Sweet Home, Oregon, where you quickly discover this Oregon County is huge, gargantuan, expansive. A lot of people, you know, they look at the beautiful Willamette Valley and you've got all that beautiful farmland down there. Um, but more than half of the county is actually forested and a lot of people I don't think realize that. The Willamette National Forest takes up a considerable amount of the county. There's a lot to offer. At 3,700 acres, Green Peter Lake is home to all kinds of recreation, skiing, swimming, boating and fishing. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife manages the lake for kokanee and trout. Fan sized trout. We stock about 50,000 catchable rainbow each year for folks, and we've been currently stocking about 50,000 fingerling sized kokanee to augment what natural production occurs uh, in the basin. Nearby, Whitcomb Creek County Park is perfectly suited for a multiple day stay. All of the sites offer plenty of elbow room to stretch out in a pleasant wooded setting. You can come up here maybe and find that experience and not as crowded as you can in other places. We've got uh, you know, a place that's probably for a lot of people still unexplored. Soon the roadway calls you back on western approach into the Cascade Mountains where Doug Fur and Hemlock flank a route called the Quartzville Backcountry Byway. More or less a wild river, although it's called Quartzville Creek. The scenic quality is, is outstanding as you go up there. When you talk about the, you know, uh, hour and a half from the main valley floor, you know, from I-5, that's not a bad trip. The Quartzville Backcountry Byway meanders past Green Peter Lake along the clear, cool waters of Quartzville Creek. It's an amazing corridor of old-growth trees accentuated by rocky outcroppings and wildflowers. Taken together, there are so many reasons to visit. It's an area rich with scenery and activities. Once explored, you'll never want to leave. At Green Peter Lake with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.